everybody. Today we are starting our series that we told you about where we're going to take one topic and devote an entire video to that topic. And today's topic is arguing. People ask us all the time, do you guys ever argue? You guys get along so well. Do you ever fight? Do you ever argue? Do we ever argue? I'm going to go with, no, not so no. much on that. Mm -mm. No. I can, I can already like through the screen, I can hear you're lying. You don't argue, you liars. <laughs> we, we have like little tiffs where we, you know, get on each other's nerves or something like mm -hmm. that, but it usually lasts about. 15, 20 minutes or, you know, something, mm -hmm. but we, I don't, I don't even, I think we've had one argument, argument. Yeah, in like six years, in five, like six five years. years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like a real argument yeah. where we're, you know, getting into each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we don't really, um, really argue too much. So yeah. you're probably saying, well, if you don't argue that much, then why are you doing a video telling us about arguing and how to argue. Just because he and I don't argue doesn't mean we don't have experience with arguing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we I have got enough exits. So <laughs> let you know. Yes, yeah, so we have past experience with arguing. So in those past experiences, we've picked up some tips and we're going to share them with you. They really yeah. are helpful for us, so we thought they could be helpful for someone else. All right, we have got five things that we're going to share. Number one, when you are having an argument, you have to fight fair. You must fight fair. Yeah, it's none of this, you know, oh, well, we're having a fight, so anything goes. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that right there is, uh, that right there shows immaturity. Mm -hmm. Shows you how immature you are, because you'll people like that will start a fight on on purpose so they can say hurtful things mm -hmm. to that person and then go, oh, well, we were fighting, so I, it doesn't really, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Sure it does, mm -hmm. because usually when you're arguing like that, basically the truth will come out because you'll you'll sit there and when you get mad. You, how you really feel will come out. You know, you'll sit there, oh, you know, people sit there, oh, no, 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 I didn't really mean that. Yeah, in a way you did. And you, you might not have meant it all the way through, but you did, That some of that was truth. And you just, you can't do that. When you love a person, you don't want to, you shouldn't anyway, you shouldn't want to cut them deep like that. And the person that you're in love with, the person that you're married to, they have the ability to cut you deeper than anybody because they've shared all of their vulnerable vulnerabilities with you and you know everything about them. You know where to cut, you know where to stick that knife in and twist it. You know all their little weak spots that you could really dig into if you want. But during an argument, you don't do that. You no. don't hit below the belt. You don't, no, no, no. Oh, remember that time that you told me. Duh, 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 duh. And then there's your trust issue. Yep. Down the drain. Down the drain because. I don't then, trust you because I can't talk to you. Now, now the communication has gone like this because mm -hmm. I can't share with you what I thought I could share with you because you throw it back in my face. Yeah, you're going to throw it back or in my face. Or you're going to remind me of something that I did a long, long time ago mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with you and I. Mm -hmm. So. You don't, you don't, you don't do stuff like that. No. I mean, people sit there and feel like they, they have the right to do that. You don't have the right to do no, that. You don't because eventually the argument's gonna be over. But you have cut that person, and now they're like, you know what? I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back from you. I'm gonna hold no. back from you because I don't feel like I can trust you to not use what I told you in confidence against me. So mm -hmm. you have to fight fair when you're having an argument. So yeah, that's, that's very, very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, this kind of falls under the same umbrella, our second point. Watch what you say and how you say it. Now, when you're arguing, you can't just, I don't know, I guess this is different for every couple. This is specific to every couple. This is what we do. We're not screamers. We're not yellers. We don't start cursing each other out we don't throw things we just don't do any no. of that no mm -hmm. uh -uh. no i mean it's just mutual respect you know yeah. i don't i don't cuss at, or i try not to cuss around her i try not to yeah he does he so, tries not know. to cuss around me and he doesn't cuss at me at all right. ever no I mean, no no it's just 
Mm-mm. I mean, and those are those are ground rules that you set in your relationship in the beginning. Mm-hmm. If you're a woman and you allow your man to, to curse you out and F this and F that and you this and you that, well, you set your ground rules in a bad situation because now he feels like he can say whatever he wants to you. And if he's going to sit here and cuss you out and use every other cuss word he can find, well, what else is he going to sit here and say? Mm-hmm. You know, you've already shown him that he can disrespect you, mm-hmm. he can, it, whether it be cussing you out or cheating on you. It, it's disrespect. Yeah. So there's just... I mean, it, however, I don't, I don't care how you look yeah, at it. Yeah, there's just none none of that. No, no. Each, I mean, just because you're upset in this moment, you still love this person. You just... No. Mm, no, you can't. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you do when you don't care about a person. Like, okay, I just... I want to hurt you. I want to cut you. I want to make you feel as bad as possible. You don't do that to someone you love, even when you are mad at them. You just don't. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff you do when you're trying to get rid of somebody. Yeah, like... After this, I'm never going to see you again. I'm yeah. going to make sure of that. <laughs> I'll make sure I tell you everything mm-hmm. I feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but with someone you love, no, you mm-hmm. don't want to do that. Yes. Absolutely not. No. All right, the third point. This is very, very important. Be careful who you talk to about your disagreements in your marriage. Be very, very careful about this. And I know a lot of times women struggle with this because women are gatherers and we like to talk we like to have a friendly ear but if you are having issues with your mate you have to be very careful about who you discuss that with a lot of people like to talk to their mother or their girlfriends or oh you have to be very very careful there because you'll say all of this stuff like oh he ain't this and he did that and blah 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 and you will cut your man down so far while you're upset and then you guys go off and you kiss and make up, but your girlfriend and your mom, they remember what you said. And they're going to be looking at him like he's crazy forever, even though you guys have kissed and made up forever ago. They're still looking at him like, mm, I remember what she told me about you six months ago. Mm. So you have to be very, very careful with that. And my feeling is if I have a problem with him, the person that I need to be talking to is him. He's the person I need to be talking to because he's the one I have the problem with. And if the problem is so bad that you really, really need to get it out, consider talking to a neutral third party. Mm-hmm. A neutral third party, whether that's somebody at church or a counselor, someone. A neutral third party who has no vested interest at all and isn't going to hold grudges and isn't going to have any resentment. That's the best way to go, I think. Okay, point number four. Try to look at things from your partner's point of view. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you guys are arguing, I mean... If you're arguing, it's because you're you're having a difference of opinion. And and just stand back, because a lot of people are, are, will get, they'll be like, no, it's the way I look at it, and that's it. That's the only way it's got to be. It's got to be my way. And sometimes you're completely right. You're you're absolutely right, and sometimes your your mate is completely wrong. In their eyes, though, they are completely right. And you're wrong. So the best thing to do sometimes is just sit back and just try to look at it in their point of view and just compromise it. Just compromise. Just be like, yeah, I, I kind of see what you're saying, but you know, sometimes it's just you you gotta get along. What is it? You got it. Sometimes you got to go along and get along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, that's gonna be our next point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes that's just the what you gotta do. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, you have to try to look at things from your your partner's point of view because the reason that you are having an argument, the reason you're having a disagreement, is because you have a difference of opinion. That's the reason that you're arguing. Um, oh, we forgot a point too. I knew I forgot to put something on here. But that's the reason that you're having um, the argument because you don't agree. He says one thing and I say, no, I don't think that's right. Boom, you're having a disagreement. But okay, let me try to see what he's saying. Let me try to see where he's coming from. I might learn something. A lot of times I do. Right, I mean. And in the end, I I still might not agree, but I understand where he's coming from. Yeah, there's times where, you know, we don't agree on certain situations, whether it can be anything. And, you know, I'll tell her how I feel and, and then, you know, she'll be like, 
okay, I, I can see where you're coming from. And then she also did say, I see why well, I see where you're coming from too. But you know, it's almost you know, you gotta give that little bit of room, you know, that that little bit of you know it, it's can't be it can't be like blinders on all the time. It's my way, it's my way, it's my way. Mm -hmm. You because know, if that's the case you you'll never get along with anybody. Yeah, with anyone, yes. not even just romantic relationships, yeah. any, that, any that'll relationship. That'll go when it comes to work, family, everything. Mm -hmm. You'll just never be able to look at, the, at things the same way. Mm -hmm. And I said there were going to be five points, but actually they're going to be six because I forgot to put one on here. We're going to make this number five. Number five, get to the root of what it is that you're arguing about. Do you agree? Yeah. Get to the root of what you're arguing about. Find out what it is that you're really disagreeing about. You are not arguing about dirty dishes in the sink. You are not arguing about socks that are on the floor. Find out what it is that you're really arguing about and address that, not these little side things. Address what the root of the real issue is. Yeah, I mean, Usually that's the that's the case. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes the dishes in the sink and the socks on the floor does piss you off to the point you're just like, geez, can you do something? You know what I mean? Like, can can can, can we work on how this is going to work out? Because this is frustrating me every time. Mm -hmm. You know, you. I mean, sometimes it's deeper. You know, and look, you got to look at it that way. Like, oh, well, is that the whole reason? Or is it uh, that I'm having issues because of trust, or you know, or whatever it may be, and I'm I'm having this trust issue with you, but I, I can't bring it really up because I don't have any clear, you know, evidence. But I'm gonna stare and flip out on you because the dishes aren't done, or because whatever hasn't been taken care of. I'm gonna I'm gonna bite off that little piece. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bite off that little piece and just go crazy with it, but there's something behind it the whole time. Yeah, so just get to the real issue. What's really bothering you? Because it's not about socks on the floor. Maybe that is triggering you, but that's not what's really going on because as you start getting deeper, 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 it's like, oh, well, remember that thing you said two weeks ago? That bothered me. And you're like, is that what's been bothering you all this time? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> well, a lot of times. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it, nip it in the bud two weeks ago. <laughs> if somebody says something to you, don't let it just sit there and just... Because the, the more you let it just sit there and grow and grow Fester, and grow, right? it, it goes from this this uh -huh. and then because you just you start thinking about it and thinking and about then you it just, and just blow up and, and it's it, like oh my gosh why are you screaming about socks on the floor yeah. it's not about the socks on the floor it's about that thing you said two weeks ago yeah <laughs> so yeah because if you like if you think uh, like i can't sit there and say let things just it's not good to just keep things in you know some people are just like oh i just like to just you know keep it in it it that's all fine and good but when you keep things in too long and it really bothers you, when you blow up, it's going to be it. Yeah, it could I be mean, a real are, bad blow it, it up. Could like be a blow a, up you might not be able to come back from. Right, yeah. So it's best to just kind of, you know, have a little discussion, you know, and, and you, you don't have to bring it at the person screaming and hollering. When you scream at somebody, the first thing they do is put up a wall. Yeah, they just shut down. Right, they shut down, they put up a wall, and it's defense. That's all they think of defense, defense. Instead of just coming to them and say, look, I really, we need to sit down and have a talk. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how I feel about the situation. And you know, what what are we gonna do about this? Cause I can't live like this or I can't, I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. You know, something's got to change. And if you bring it to them like that, instead of going, I swear if you don't, act, you know, and you're screaming and hollering, it's, you, you you're get, not going to accomplish anything. Right. You're, you're going to get so much more out of the conversation if you just come to the person, you know, with a little common sense than sit here and be flipping out, you know, screaming, hollering, da 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 da. And then, because then after a while, you know, hands might get put on each other. You don't know where it's going to go. You know, when, when two people are fighting, 
like that, and they're coming together, screaming and howling, and especially if you have children, that's like the worst. Because those children hear every single thing you call your wife or you call your husband. And that, and if it's very disrespectful, that child is listening to that. And they're growing up. And the way they grow up, if listening to you guys and they're screaming and hollering, is how he or she is going to treat her husband or treat her boyfriend or treat his wife or treat his girlfriend. Because he's going to sit there and see dad call mama. B-I-T-C-H, you know, every other day, you know, well, you know what, if my dad did it, why can't I do it? Yeah, so just back to the original point, get to the root of the issue. Get to the bottom of why you're really arguing. Don't be distracted by these little side things. Get to the root of the real issue and address that. Don't address the symptom address the problem. Like when you get sick and you go to the doctor, they want to know what's causing your pain. They address the, the side effects of the pain, your symptoms, but they want to get to the root of it so they can stop that from happening, right? Same principle. Okay, the final point, and this is very, very important. The sixth and final point, when you are arguing, when you are having a disagreement, you have to learn to compromise. You have to learn to compromise on issues. Well, yeah. yeah. Just like we were talking about earlier, we just we just need to come together, figure out, you know, a good medium. You might not like it all the way. The person might not like it all the way. But just try it out. See, you know, see how it works out. You know, you might sit back and eventually go, you know, maybe I was wrong. Or it wasn't such a big deal. You know, it's it's okay. If the other person's willing to do it and you're willing to do it and it works, well, what's the problem? Yeah, you have to compromise. I mean, you're both two individuals. You're not going to want to do the same things all of the time. You're not going to have the same opinions about things. You're not going to, you're just going to have a lot of differences over the course of your relationship. And sometimes you just have to go along to get along. I love that phrase. Sometimes you just have to go along to get along. Like, oh, I don't really feel like doing that. But okay, I'll go ahead. I don't really feel like watching this movie. I don't really feel like going to this place. I don't really feel like entertaining this person. But you do, so I'm going to compromise, and I'm going to go along to get along. Sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Right? Uh, all right. That's it. We hope you guys found that helpful. Um, yeah. If you have any comments, any uh, suggestions for topics that we could cover yeah. in the future, please leave them in the comments down below. We would love to address them. I think we're going to do these videos about once a month or so. So please leave some suggestions down below. What would you like us to cover next? We'd be happy to do it. If we can offer anything helpful, we'd be happy to do it. So we hope that this was helpful for you. And um, thank yeah, you so much I'm for sure. watching. So we've been through basically everything when it comes to relationship <laughs> between old girlfriends and boyfriends and everything else that goes with it. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully that was helpful for you guys and we appreciate you watching. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank and we you. will see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.